Hello, I'm Mitchell Brin. I'm Chief Scientific Officer for Botox at Allergan and Professor of Neurology at the University of California, Irvine. Botulinum toxins are potent neurotoxins produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. The ability of botulinum toxin to reduce muscular contraction through inhibition of acetylcholine release from motor neurons initially led to the idea that local injections of these molecules may be beneficial for relieving the symptoms of overactive muscle conditions such as focal dystonias. The early success of botulinum toxin treatment in these conditions led to the eventual commercialization of several different botulinum toxin products worldwide across a diverse range of clinical indications. Botulinum toxin products are biological drugs. Unlike chemically synthesized drugs that are produced through a series of chemical reactions, biological drugs are produced by living organisms or cells. Biologicals, including botulinum toxin, are principally proteins and are therefore typically much larger and more structurally complex than chemically synthesized drugs. For example, the commercially available toxins differ in molecular size, ranging from the 150 kilodalton core neurotoxin alone up to the largest 900 kilodalton purified complex. These biologics are hundreds or even thousands times larger than most synthetic drugs. Due to the complexity of manufacturing and formulating biological products such as botulinum toxin, even seemingly small modifications in these processes have the potential to alter their clinical profile. In this article, we review the scientific and clinical evidence as to why botulinum toxin products are not interchangeable. We discuss the fundamental properties that impart their unique biological characteristics and consider how these differences influence their in vivo activity as evident in preclinical and clinical studies. We describe how each medication must be individually investigated to establish an appropriate body of efficacy and safety evidence in order to obtain regulatory approval in each given indication. Finally, we discuss how these studies supporting the approvals provide dosing guidance, safety information, and documentation of clinical efficacy that adds confidence to each product's clinical utility.